Well, this is part two of the quadratic, how to do some of the basic coding. So after watching the first video, you probably have some something simple already set up. Your menu strip is coded as best as you can. You have three buttons labeled direction or CMD directions, CMD calculate, CMD exit. I have a text quadratic somewhere here. You can't see it. I have labeled directions. So let's begin. I have my about already added, the quadratic, FRM quadratic. So directions. Well, I wanted you to notice something. Something advanced. Notice what is selected. If you see the blue trim around the yellow button, that's how I'm starting. So the point is, I don't need to use my mouse click. I can just hit enter. The focus is already on that yellow button. So I'm hitting enter, click the green calculate button. Now look what I, what happened. Now the blue trim is around the green calculate button. I still don't have to use my mouse. I can hit enter, go through everything, two real roots. And now the end button's got the blue trim. Are you sure? So basically, I never used my mouse running this project. I just used the enter button. So how did I do that? Well, there's something, there's a property of buttons or of all objects called tab index. Well, I'm making this one because I want this to be the first one selected by default when they press play. Notice the property tab index zero. So I did that for that one. The other ones don't matter. I just need this one to be zero. That's what's going to be selected. So how do I code CMD directions? I'll double click. And these are the only two lines I have. I tell it to put click the green calculate button in the label directions and then this. CMD calculate dot focus. What does that do? That moves the concentration like the tab index, I'm moving it to the green calculate button. So that's why it's got the blue trim. I'm basically moving the concentration from the yellow button to the green button by CMD calculate dot focus. The focus now is on the green button. Click the green calculate button and now notice this has the focus. So those are the only two lines for the calculate button or the directions button, I should say. The calculate button. What do I have on there? Double click, this is the big one. But we're only going to deal from here to here. Let's begin. Ask quadratic colon. What is that? I made that up. I'm just basically setting like a bookmark called ask quadratic. Anytime I want to jump back there, I can tell it to because I just typed ask quadratic followed by colon. Anything followed by colon is what we'd call a subroutine. So I just made up ask quadratic. Now, A equals val. Well, what's A? They're variables. So up here, my variables, dim my quit as string. That's the same thing I did to quit. So I needed to declare a variable. I just copied that from the menu project. But here I added another line, dim a comma b comma c as integer, because I use a for whatever they type for a. So here is something new, an input box. a equals val, short for value. Input box, enter a value for a, that is what you're going to see, comma, that's the title at the top of the input box, and then comma, this number one, that's the prompt. So an input box are those question boxes that come up. That This is an input box. That's the first line. That's what this A equals. This whole line gives me this. Enter a value for A is the first set of quotes, comma, enter a value for A is the title, and the third set of quotes, the one, puts the one right there, the prompt. B, I immediately ask another input box, enter a value for B, 
Here's the title of that input box, and here's the prompt that it puts. Immediately after that, you get a third input box. Enter value for C, the title, enter value for C, and then the prompt. So I get three input boxes in a row. Then an if statement. If A equals zero, you cannot divide by zero with the quadratic. You're not allowed to have A equals zero. It's basically division by zero. Message box error, VB critical, and then a title error. Then here's something new. Go to ask quadratic. I basically jump back up here and ask again. So go to ask quadratic. That's this routine, subroutine. It jumps up there, and if. So basically I'm stuck in here if I put 0 for A. Once I do not put 0 for A, then I continue on to the rest. Calculate. There's the first input box, the second input box, the third input box. Then it moves on. If I put a 0, error. That's this message box. If A equals 0, it is. Go to ask quadratic. It's going to jump up here, and it's going to begin asking again. And that time I didn't put 0 for A, so I'm okay. After everything's okay, then I need to put the quadratic in my text box. So here is something fancy. Text quadratic dot text, that's my text box, equals the quadratic you entered was space ampersand a. That's the variable. If it's a 1, then 1. Connect it to x squared plus. Connect that to whatever they typed for b. Connect that to x plus. Connect that to whatever they type for C, and then put a period at the end. So I'm basically connecting strings with variables. The quadratic you entered was whatever they put for A. Connect that to x squared plus whatever they type for B. Connect that to x plus. Connect that to C and then connect a period at the end. So then it reads like one smooth sentence. So again, if you see what happens here, calculate. I'll do 1, 6, I'll switch it, 9. The quadratic you entered was, there's the 1 that I typed. It connected to x squared plus. Put a 6 in front of the x and connect that to a plus 9 and then put a period at the end. And the spaces all look good. That's called, fancy name, concatenation. When you're connecting variables with strings to make it look, make it read smoothly. And the other basic part, the last part of here, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then message box, two real roots. The solution is, I'm going to have to talk about math. Else, if b squared minus 4ac equals 0, then you have a double root. Else, there's no real roots. So either you're positive, this means you're positive. If it's positive, you're going to have two answers. If it's equal to 0, you're going to have one answer. Otherwise, there are no answers. If it's not positive, if it's not 0, that means it has to be negative. And if. So I have an if, else if, else. And if, and that just tells me how many answers. What you see in green, I'm going to save for later. That's the advanced part. And then notice what I do. Now I say put the focus on the red button. That should be enough for the next two or three days after you set it up of your quadratic. That should be the remainder of the week. See you for the third part.